<laughs> Hello, welcome back to Sister hey. Circle Live. Uh, we decided to bring Omar over yes. to the circle. Uh -huh. yes. Because, uh, you know, we're talking relationships today. Relationships. Right? <laughs> yes. Uh, and so here it is. Uh, there was a tweet that sparked a lot of conversation on social media. And she says, if my man pays for lunch, I'll pay for dinner. If he pays for movie tickets, I got the snacks. The poster basically says that finances should be split down the middle in relationships. But how do we feel about the idea of splitting things down the middle 50-50? Mm. Huh. What you think? Right. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, we listening, sir. You know, uh, it, it all depends. Uh, <laughs> who makes the most money? I don't know. I don't want to be like, okay, well, let's go to Paris. Mm -hmm. Well, next time, we're going to go to Switzerland, but your bank account ain't set up like Switzerland. that. Right. You know, so it's whatever you can bring to the table right. is, is how it is. I don't, I wouldn't want anybody to try to, I, if I buy my wife a car, mm -hmm. I don't want her to try to get me a car. Just mm -hmm. because. You know, just because I did it, you right. know. Mm -hmm. uh, it's however it is, it's how, whatever you have to bring. Right. You know, bring it, bring it, bring mm -hmm. it. So, uh, I don't. 50 50 is a little bit over the top. Mm -hmm. But yeah. movies is different now. You know, if I'm buying the tickets, you know, if you want to buy the popcorn, that's cool. You want right. you know, uh, If you want to. Yeah. You but know. it's not a, that's not that's something that's not a requirement. Did you, did you and I don't even. Tweet? Yeah. No, oh, you did. Yeah. No, the, the whole entire tweet? Did I, did I have more? Yeah, there's, there's a, a, there's a, a tweet, that's though. Yeah. yeah. It's okay. A, yeah. Go ahead. Anyone want to jump in? I must have missed it. Did I? Well, the tweet is cool because the tweets, the tweet says, um, if my man pays for lunch, I'll pay for dinner. Right. If he pays for the movie tickets, I got the snacks. Um, the poster basically says that finances should be split down the middle in relationships. Okay, here it and, is. And that she, yeah, here yeah, we go. 50-50 is. is where it's at. Mm -hmm. Stop expecting to be treated like a queen if you're not treating him like a king. king. Mm -hmm. Right, okay, but there it is. I don't know if I agree with right. that. I don't, I don't. Mm -mm. Nah. Yeah. Peace out. Mm -hmm. So, Omar, what, what, what's your take on... Um, Th those men who are looking for a woman to take care of them. They, oh, man, they... I, you know what? I'll tell you the truth. I have no respect. Mm -hmm. That's just real. I tell anybody that I don't have any respect. You got to get it on your own. Mm -hmm. I mean, don't, don't, don't try to I'm gonna piggyback off this woman and you know get it get it how she's getting it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like you know you like I said if you're not bringing something to the table, what, what's going on? Here? Right. Yeah. Like, I, I, what, what, go ahead. I'm bothered by that because I feel like when you take um, there's certain things a man's supposed to do, and in my opinion, that is provide. Pro and protect. So if, if, and provide and protect and to cover. Right. So like when you ask me what I bring to the table, sir, I am the table. Fifty fifty is me. I bring into the relationship. Now I'm yeah. not saying just me and the physical. There's things that a woman brings to the relationship that a man can't. 100%. Right. And there's things that a man brings to the relationship that a woman wouldn't have without a man. But as far as the finances, first of all, men don't, I feel like, men feel a way if a woman is doing everything financially. So I don't want to take that from my man. I would allow, I would love for my man to be able to provide financially. Because quite often they feel less than well, because they can't provide financially. It's very sensitive because you don't want to emasculate your man. My yeah. point is, you, know, you, know, you may be making exponentially more money than he is, mm -hmm. but you know, you don't have to flaunt it in his face. Yes. Yes. Um, that's one thing you have to be very caref careful yeah. of. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, growing up, my mother uh, was director of social services at Emory Hospital, one of the black first uh, black executives at Emory Hospital, and she made more than my dad. My whole time growing up, she was the breadwinner, but to, to her, their agreement was the house that we own you're going to be able to afford the mortgage on this house. Mm -hmm. And that was their agreement yeah. right. growing, you know, growing up. And so she never made him feel less than because he was a teacher. Right. And that's how I feel in my relationship. You know, there was, t there was a time in the beginning of our relationship we were pretty equal. Then I got on the radio. My career started to blossom. And then I got let go. And then he, and there was a complete paradigm shift. And right. I think mm -hmm. that you have to learn how to make those adjustments you when you balance. can't. And I say, I don't say 50, 50, 50. I say 100, 100. That's 100. what 100. 100. Yes. I was yes. getting 100. ready to that, yeah. I'm so yeah. glad you said exactly. that. Exactly. And I think that... You you know, just what I'm about to say. Yeah, Brian needs to. I think that what we have is kind of like that same thing. Yeah. Can you make the mortgage? You know, and we're about equal now. Mm -hmm. um, but I just want to make sure that he always feels like he is the man in protecting our mm -hmm. home. Well, well, and, and, well I, I think too that it's it's a hundred percent, a hundred is the mindset that has to happen. And if, let's just speak on married married couples. First mm -hmm. of all, there is no fifty fifty. It's one hundred. That's it. 
Mm. When you get married, you are as one. Now, you have your individual, you know, individual this, individual that, but as far as finances and different things, most of the time, it's all coming from the same place. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's not like, if you pay right here, you, well, I know for me and Kiwan, it's not like, if I pay this time, you're going to pay this time. Yeah. It still come out the same household. Yeah. Right? So at the end of the day, you become as one. You have to think in a one mindset. Now, if you're dating, you do have to... I, I do... I do think that we allow men to um, get in, we, we give them a, an excuse to not take care of us because oh, we want good. them to feel a way. I can't, no matter what it is that I do, I can never teach a man or make him feel like a man. He has to want to step up and do that on his own. Mm -hmm. He has to say like him, oh, I don't. That's, I, that's not something I would do. And that comes from teaching from the father and the fathers of the fathers all the way passed down. That's a teaching that has to happen. Mm -hmm. That's not being, that's not happening. Mm -hmm. And now we have a Disconnect. bunch of, uh, in the words of DeAndre, grown males, males. out yeah. here yeah. that yes. are boys and yeah. feel like they should be coddled and taken care of right. because mm -hmm. no one has pushed them into this world and said, hey, take care of your woman. Take right. care of this. Take care of that. At the bare minimum. Right. Right. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Everything yeah. else is maybe let's figure out what we're going to do. But at the bare minimum, like your mom did, you're going to take care of this, that, and the third. If right. you want to be the head of the household, then be the head of the household. Right. Be right. it. Yes. But we're not teaching. We're allowing them to be less than who they really right. were designed yeah. to yeah. be. Right. We right. don't. We we as women sometimes don't allow our men to walk in the, the fullness of their greatness yes. because we can be so independent sometimes, mm -hmm. and we can sometimes you know. <laughs> example, a, a, a woman could ask a man to do something, right? Um, hey, it's something. Some, let's say uh, the, something. Something with the house. Mm -hmm. You know, I need you to do this, right. and you may ask him. 50 million times, right? Some women who are assertive, they're going to say, listen, I've asked this man a thousand times to do it. Let me just go mm -hmm. ahead and do it. And I've done that. But what happens is we're you making do. them, <laughs> we're making them lazy and we're, 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 we're setting the precedence that it's okay for me to get out here and do the masculine things because, it's, so now he just knows if I sit around long enough, she'll do it. Yeah. I, I, I that, agree. That's the I, problem. I, I, I you agree. should see me doing it say, I got this. Right. Don't worry. Or let me know. I'm not going to do it when you think I should, but I am going to do it on this it. day. Yeah. Right. I agree, Don't let me I do it. I agree, then. but I disagree. I think, for example, if, if I'm not going to wait on you to do anything, if I ask you to do it, you should just, it just need to be done. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, you know that it has to do We're all coming to the table to get something accomplished. Why must I beg you to handle your business as a man? The cover of the household true. is your responsibility. If I sit back and it doesn't get done as an independent woman, you mad at me for handling my business? That's, I can't. Mm -hmm. Can't make you feel less than a man. You supposed to come to this situation and want to do yeah, what is. Thank you. That's, That's what I'm saying. It. I can't make you feel yeah, less. You gotta step mama. up. And if I ask you, either say you gonna do it or say you not. Yes. What's the whole weight on it? Mm -hmm. yeah, then, yeah. And then, uh, and uh, I understand. Uh, what's this weight anyway? How long do we have to wait? That's what we're going on in this weight. It all depends. It's. Sometimes you gotta wait. <laughs> oh, I'm like, I mean, on. you gonna give us no, a roundabout no, no, estimation? No, no, no. I'm saying it, it, depending on what we're saying, talking about. Like, if I'm not there in the house, I need to get this right here changed. I need to get this. Uh, this. Call, you somebody. Gotta call somebody. Now that's fine. I mean, I, I can't physically. Manipulate it myself. No I'm not sorry, that's but if you're sitting on the couch, oh yeah, man, you got to know right. yeah, It needs to be done. But, but be ladies, done. this is what, it's another thing I really want to say real quick. Like I know there's a lot of women, women raising boys, and at the mm. end of the day, just because you're raising a, a boy, you have to remember that he's not going to always be your child. He's yeah. going to be the head Somebody's of somebody's household. household. He's gonna, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you have to raise a man. That's right. Be a man like Hollywood. You like Omar Dawson? That's right, like Omar Dawson. Well, thank you so much again. You can catch him on Queen Sugar Wednesdays on OWN. We'd love to hear how you feel. Send us your thoughts at Sister Circle TV on all of our social platforms.